Hi, my name is Brennan Lee Mulligan. I'm the writer of Strong Female Protagonist, which is an online webcomic, and I'm a performer at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theater in New York. I was very badly bullied <laughs> in, uh, in elementary school. The reason I got bullied for the most part um, uh, was due to just being a nerd, just being a, a itty bitty little nerd, just too smart for my own good. I know that a lot of people that are involved with You Are Okay um, have probably shared stories of depression and, and what bullying can lead to in terms of depression. Uh, my reaction to feeling really alienated and ostracized, uh, my reaction uh, was to get really mean, <laughs> was to get really mean. Looking back, the reaction I had to that experience of being really outcast was um, by the time fourth grade rolled around, I had found a couple other people that I felt like were similar to me, and I uh, I became like a bully. Um, I didn't I was not physically <laughs> powerful enough to do anything to anybody, um, but like the bigger kids that would like shove me around or bully me or hit me, I would uh, instead just sort of walk around the playground and ruthlessly belittle people for being dumb or not knowing how to read or something like that, like having problems with reading, I'd be like, well, spell this word or do that, and I'd get a little pack of nerds and we would corner <laughs> bullies, people I perceived as bullies, and ruthlessly mock them. When I was like middle school aged, I remember I was at my dad's apartment in New York, I was watching TV and a Hooked on Phonics commercial came on. I was like 11 or 12 or something like that. And this uh, girl in the commercial was just crying and her little name came up and she was like a testimonial for Hooked on Phonics and she was like, they made fun of me because I couldn't read. And I literally, almost out loud to myself as a 12 year old was like, what kind of monster would make fun of a girl for not being able to, oh, I, I am that monster. Uh, and had this realization that, that I had totally uh, succumbed to the, the larger systemic evil, right? That there'd been this hurt and pain going on and that I had responded to it um, by engaging in it and by exacerbating the problem and by making sure that the people that were hurting me because they were hurting were also hurting more because of me in a wonderful chain reaction of everybody getting more sad and miserable. <laughs> There's so much about situations where you're in constant conflict or you're um, you're being forced to fight for your own kind of mental health or your own sanity, uh, that you just cloud your vision. You just get total blinders on and you're like, I'll do anything I have to do to survive, uh, including kind of not being the kind of person I wanna be. What I'm trying to say is eventually the circumstances of your life will change one way or another. Time changes everything. And for me, the wounds that lasted the longest were the things that uh, I allowed to be changed about myself by a bad situation. Um, and I hope for your sake uh, th that um, if there's anything you can control and you do have the ability to in the middle of like feeling like an outcast, um, still save that portion of yourself that you love and respect and be the person that you want to be. It would have been easier for me to um, deal with everything that happened to me if I hadn't compromised myself. And at the end of the day, you are okay. You are okay.